Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. This week must be the week for butterflies because it seems like I'm putting butterflies on nearly everything that I make. I have them in my art journals, on my canvases, but for this project I'm going to show you how to create a butterfly pendant using wire. Here's a quick look at the finished pendant and I'm going to show you how to create this outer shape. This is for the flying butterfly and if you want a full butterfly then you just do this twice. So it's pretty easy to do. I have two gauges of wire. This is a 20 gauge annealed steel wire. You can also use a copper wire. But you get this from your hardware store. also have a 26 gauge copper wire and it's been um, tarnished with a little bit of liver of sulfur. So we're going to work with the thicker gauge wire, the 20 gauge wire, right off of the spool and I'm going to begin by making a small coil like that. I'm going to use my pliers to make that into um, kind of a uh, a teardrop shape just like this. Now what I like to do is I like to massage the wire with my fingertips. This helps to straighten out the wire and it also helps it to give it a natural curl and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just rubbing my finger along the wire and you can see as I do that it begins to have a curve. Massage that around until you come back to the beginning point. And so now what you'll have is kind of an ornate, bigger teardrop. This is the big part of the wing. Now I'm going to cut this um, coil off of my spool about an inch and a half, two inches down. I'm not measuring. These all turn out differently just depending on how you wrap your wire and how big your coil is. You can get a variety of different looks. So. I'm going to take the end of that wire that I just cut and I'm going to make it into a coil and this is going to finish out the bottom part of our loop. Now I'm going to make this and refine this shape a little bit just by coming in with my pliers giving it a little tweak. You can refine the shape to more of a butterfly shape. Once you have your shape, your butterfly wing shape completely refined, then what you'll do is you'll secure where these edges touch. And to do that, you'll use a separate piece of the 26 gauge wire. I've just looped the end around and then tied them together, looped them around and around, pull it tight, tie it together, and then you'll snip off any excess with your wire snips. Also, this wire here, this thinner wire, can be a decorative embellishment. So let me show you on my finished one here how I've used the wire. I've used it to create extra little detail and on some of the wires I've even strung on a little crystal. I've also used the wire to string on these uh, crystal beads here to create the body and then a separate wire to wrap it to the body to the, or to the wings. All you have to do then is add a little jump ring and a ball chain and it's ready to wear. Those are so much fun to make. I couldn't stop at just one. I made another one and then I turned it into a wire wrap bracelet. Isn't that cool? I love it. Well, I hope I've inspired you to create your own butterfly jewelry. Can't wait to see what you make. Thanks for joining me today in the studio. I'm Linda Peterson reminding you to keep living a creative life because I think it's cool to craft.